Hello everybody. Happy Tuesday. Okay, I needed stamp therapy. I am in my room, literally hiding from life, and I'm going to stamp because it makes me happy. Okay, so um, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to make, and I came down, and I was like, oh, you know, I've got that perennial birthday project kit, and I have started it, and I haven't finished it. Anyway, and I was like, well, I haven't showed anyone it, but then I started coming up with an alternative project, so I'll share that with you. Okay, so if you missed this one in the catalog, I'm going to show you it. It's the cutest box ever. Look at it. Okay, so hi, James. Hi, Sue. This is the perennial birthday project kit. Okay, so this is the part you can actually buy refills for. So I have to show you it. First off comes with these dividers. So you got, hello, Mary and Nina. It's got these wicked dividers um, that they've got, already comes with a little gold foil sticker so you can put on your months. Now for me, this is dreamy because my birthday card list right now is endless to kind of send out. So I can go in and I can put birthdays right onto the cards, okay? Which is amazing. Yay me, organized. Next thing it's got in it is it has got a whole wackadoodle. So it's got 16 cards. Can't believe you're on live. I can't believe I'm on live either Francine so we'll roll with that um, but it's got 16 cards in it so there's three of them here you can see them super cute super great if you are in a rush and you need to put some cards together uh, the bits are great if you want to adjust and kind of make your own cards um, and then like well this one's a little bit more detailed this one's a little bit less detailed you can change it up right so there's obviously there's one card missing because I have already used one so I'm gonna really really quickly I'm gonna put that one together for you but then guess what we're gonna do then we're gonna make the alternative, okay? So, you ready? You picking up what I'm putting down? Everyone's good? I am going to grab, there is a coordinating stamp set. Ta-da! This is the perennial birthday. Um, love the sentiments in it. The font's kind of fun. Love the giant happy birthday. Please give me giant stamps that take up lots of space so I have much less writing to do. I'm all over that kind of business. Okay, so. Is that big enough? Yes, it is. I have just got, well, I'll just show you quickly how to put together this one card from the set that's in it. And then oh, we'll do the alternative one, okay? So just roll with me for two seconds. See the Wicked card base? Gold foil, like the little kind of pokety dots in there. And so all I'm doing is I've got my old olive ink. Tap, tap, tap. Yep, looks good. Make sure I'm on upside, or not upside down. Don't stamp it upside down. That's less than good. Stamp this bad boy on here. Okay, so we got it. Birthday cheers all around. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna, oh, today blooms just for you. We could have bloomed. Anyway, that's done. So this card is simply, they have got, let's pull this bad boy off. I'm gonna close this because we know how it's gonna end. And I'm gonna take this and you get this roll of the gold um, satin ribbon. Now, we had this, we used to have this and I loved it. I don't think I kept my, like I think I sold it off at a retirement sale. So now I'm kicking myself because I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so now can I tell you something super embarrassing? I went to do that flag end the other day and I totally did it backwards. Like I, oh my gosh, I'm like, oh, so I cut it so it had a point at the end. Super SMRT. Yes, hang on, so I don't cut my fingers off. There, so ta-da, we've got the cute little banner ends on that. Let's get this out of the way. You don't need to see that anymore. Now, I will admit, I don't know, I don't get all fancy when I'm attaching ribbon to my card. Like, we don't have to get super duper crazy, guys. So, I just take my fast fuse. I slap a line of it down. And then I take this bad boy and I stick him ta-da! On the card. Easy breezy. Cut is cheesy. I grab, there's dapper denim twine in the kit, okay? So you're not having to go buy anything new. Now, this is, I'm going to come around and give myself enough to tie. I'm not going to chop off my fingers. Hi, Sarah Newman. You're almost there. Hang on. This is the only part. It would really be good, you guys, to have an extra arm that could jump in purely for the purpose of holding the spot for knots. Now I tie a knot first. Why? Because I'm a spaz and I cannot tie a bow straight from like the crossover part without it getting all loose and ibbly gibbly jibbly on me. So I always tie a knot first when I'm doing it with twine. Okay, so that's all good. Now it's too long-ish and we got we got droopy, what's it called? Droopy bows. It's gonna come in, hang on. Do do ta-da. Come over here. Now I'm gonna slide it back. 
It doesn't matter which way. It's actually at the other end on the, in the sample, but you don't care, do you? Do you care if the bow's at the left or if the bow's at the right? Now, what I do do when I have to move it is I tend to kind of curl my card like that because it makes it way easier to move without damaging the edge of the card. Okay, so now I need dimensionals. And they are here. I saw them. I put my hands on them before I started. I did an inventory before I got going. Okay, so as I said, this is nothing crazy. I'm just doing exactly what the kit says right now, and then we're moving on. Go. You guys are so quiet. Come on. Talk to me. Okay. So, Sarah, how's Juliana? How's the walking? <laughs> is it so cute? Or not so cute? Is she crashing down on everything in the house? Okay, so you can see. Super cute, super easy. Not a lot to it, but you got this cute foil accents and a super sweet card kit. Okay, so ta-da, done. Now, let's get rid of that because that's not what we're doing. Now we're going to play with the card kit. Okay, so I took a Whisper Way card base because that's what I love. And hi, Lori. And uh, Lori, I saw a message come up from you right like as you were on there, but I couldn't read it, so I will read it as soon as I'm off. Then I took a card, there's the card base that we just used, like literally the card base we just used, and I chopped it. Well, she looks like a tiny T-Rex, the little teeter-totter with the arms, they're so cute. Okay, so I've got the chop, the, I've got the chop, I've got the card base kind of cut into bits, okay? Now, I've gone in and kind of, I wanted to keep it coordinating with the card kit, because I was like, oh, it'll be neat to put a few extra cards in the kit, um, as I kind of was getting prepared. So, I have got a piece of flirty flamingo, okay, so... Uh, I can't remember what measurements are. I'll check them and I'll post them for you if you want them. There's that one. Then I die cut the largest stitched, stitched, it's a new word, got it? The stitched shape circle. And then I did the next one down. That's the gold foil. And then I have got a piece of Whisper Way cardstock and it's an inch thick. Thick, not thick, wide. I should really stop talking. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do, we're grabbing the happy birthday. Now, I think I actually cut two pieces. I did cut two pieces of this because you guys are going to have to make a decision. Okay, so we've got two pieces, identical, with high care. Um, and I'm going to stick my happy birthday on here. And we are going to stamp it in two different colors. So we're going to give, where's my dapper denim? Dapper, dapper denim. There you are. Nope, that's not you. He was here. If I were dapper denim, where would I be hiding? Did I put him in a bin? Oh, I know where he is. Forget it. Hang on. It's right here. He's in a bin. I'm going to bend for cloth. There we go. Okay. So we're tapping this bad boy. Hi, Sharon. Tap, 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 tap. Good. Oh, this one's super inky. Okay. So I am going to go on this. I'm going to come this away. Okay. And I'm going to, dude. I don't think I centered that very well, but that's okay. That was not bad. Okay, good. So we got that one. Easy. Now I'm going to do it in one other color and I want you to tell me which one you prefer. So I'm going to also try it with a little flirty flamingo and then we'll see which one oops, looks best on that card. Are you clean? Yeah, you're clean. Okay, flirty. Where are you? Flirty. Come here, flirty. Okay, close the ink pad. It's been one of those days where if I don't say it to myself, I won't remember to do it. Inky? Inky pinky. Okay, so now let's do the same thing on this one. We're going to come in. I'm going to see if I can get over top. Okay. Pop it off. Okay, so we got both. Okay. Now, next thing we have to do is I was going to try and decide on what type of embossing folder I was going to hit that flirty flamingo with. So if you have any ideas while I'm getting organized here, yell it out at me. Okay, this guy can get out of the way. This guy can get out of the way. So if you missed this before, you know the new punch that we got that goes with the like masculine set? This one? Check them out. Love this one. But if you missed this before, check this out. It is an amazing flag and punch so that you can flag your ends of things on a night like a, a kind of a gentle slope not so deep because sometimes I get I feel like they're too um, sharp looking like the angles too sharp okay so this is like a is that too close no no it's fine we made it okay so we got both of those good got it hi Jeanette how are you love okay this one nobody had a suggestion you're all like crickets out there tonight Okay, I'm putting that away. 
Well, while you're, I'm still waiting for you, you're still gonna have to decide on a color that you want, or not a color, a pattern for the embossing. So pick up some embossing stuff for me. And I'm going in here and I'm grabbing these, okay? So, well, I'm gonna grab this guy to start. Do you care if I fussy cut in front of you? Does anyone mind? No? Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this stamp. Now, if you haven't done this before, great way to kind of get multiple colors on one stamp set. Do not, I use my paintbrush end. Don't mash it in with your tip, guys. You'll wreck the end of your marker. So I just tend to, I color off the side of the marker. And you can still have control over where it's going without smooshing your tip. Don't do that. Don't smoosh your tip. Less than ideal. Okay, going in. We're going in with the Flirty Flamingo. So that was Old Olive that I used, okay? Because, and I used it because it's in the kit. That's what they kind of had used as the green in the kit. Okay, so we're getting flirty. Flirty, flirty. Flirty, flirty, flirty. Going back to my Old Olive just for a sec because I totally forgot to do this while I was in here. And this one I'm going to come in. Doot, doot, doot. It helps if you make that noise while you're coloring. You're being creepy quiet. Making me uncomfortable. I'm totally kidding. Well, no, I'm not. I feel like a crazy person talking to myself. It's okay. Okay, got these. We're almost done. Now, this is where you need to make sure you brush your teeth because you're going to huff. I'm huffing. Could you hear that? On the stamp. Why? Because as I was doing all that coloring, that bad boy was drying out. Now, he is not dried out. He is beautiful. So we're going to come in. Now just, well, anyone who knows me will look, do a shocked gasp. Make your wow face quick. You can do that in the bottom corner. Huff and puff. You got it, girl. So, um, you can, that shock face down the corner because I do not cut things out. No, I shouldn't say that. It's not that I, I don't know. It doesn't bother me. I think I'm just lazy. I'm like, oh, there's no punch. Oh, I don't want that stamp set. Oh, there's no die. Oh, I don't want that stamp set. Um, it's kind of laziness on my part, but then it's funny. Once I do start, like, as we call it, fussy cutting, it's kind of a therapeutic process, you guys. Okay, so I'm coming in. My tongue's totally sticking out right now. It's a good thing the scissors aren't close to my face. Notice I don't move the scissors. Oh, the petal pair embossing folder? Let's do it, Laura. I'm in. You got it, girl. Um, love it. That's actually a beautiful idea. So I don't move my scissors much so much as I move the paper. So I keep turning the paper. And what that actually prevents is you getting... You know that you know when little kids cut and it's like the edges are super not straight. It's like gajik gajik gajik, and you can see all the like little bits hanging out to the side. Yes, just so you know, no child in my class creates a uh, project like that because one of the first things I teach them how to use is my. It's not as not the little Stampin' Up trimmer. It's the Stampin' Up the old guillotine cutter. Yes, we have one of those in my room. And anything my kids have to cut, off they go to the guillotine cutter because you know, let's just do it properly. Why would we use our scissors when we can use this? Yeah, see, they would probably even be horrified of me right now. Mrs. McKay, don't you even die for that? No, I don't. Okay, I kept one of the old letter alphabet sets, too, for my big shot in my room. Because if you're doing a poster, why would one draw hideous letters that don't ever turn out when one can just use McKay's, uh, what's it called, dies, and punch those bad boys out? Okay, so we got that. Now, I don't need this either. Why are you here? Not you guys. You're, I know why you're here. You're here because I asked you to come. Okay, so we got these bits. We got these bits. Got you. Got you. Okay, good. This is all coming together. But right now, can you think for a second? And I'm just going to go embossed. Look really quickly because Lori said to you do that one. So um, I want you to think right now which one of these two you like. That's what you're voting on. Got it? I'm running away with this. I will be one second. Do not go anywhere. I'm not actually leaving you. I'm just leaving your, your view momentarily. Do I have one more? Oh, I do. Okay, so now Lori's also making me have more decisions. Flirty Flamingo. Okay, it's, you going that way? Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's getting a bit dark. Now, also, we've got two gorgeous, oh, good. Both you agree. Flirty Flamingo. Sarah and Sue, it's yours. You made the decision. Now, I need to decide on my embossing. Do I go? I could go with the flowers on it. Dapper Denim, of course you said that. Francine, now you're going to make me have to make another whole set of it just for you. Do we go with the flowers? Or do we go with the vines? What do you want? 
You tell me, flowers or vines? I think what I could do, I could do that. Flowers or vines? Then, oh my gosh, Jeanette agrees too. You guys are hilarious. I swear to God, you're split 50 50. Okay, I think I might do this. I think I might go up on a diagonal. Are you okay with that? Flowers, okay. Sarah's the fastest typer, so Sarah wins. Everyone else is like, what the heck? Okay, hang on, I gotta just make sure I'm doing this the right way. I'm doing it the right way, okay. Coming in. Oh no, you can't run it through like that. Oh, good lord, Angela. I just tried to put it through with my magnetic platform. Uh, you can. Well, you could. I mean, I guess if you want to bust your machine, not for that boat. So hang on, it's coming. Don't worry, I haven't forgot you. I'm running it through the big shot. Three. I think my big shot may have just made a funny noise. Oh my gosh, Lori, good call. It is gorgeous. Look at that. Love. <gasps> Sorry, that's so pretty. Okay, and I think I'm gonna go up on an angle that way. Okay, we're assembling this bad boy. You ready? So, oh, you guys, I so needed this tonight. Thank you. Thank you for sitting on here with me. It was just one of those like hideous days where you're going, please just let it end. Let the day end. We don't need today. We can just erase it, start over. Okay, so I'm coming in. Now, don't get mad. I know some of you hate it when I tip stuff. I'm tipping this, you just have to bear with me. Okay, now this one, I'm actually going to, I'm gonna pop this bad boy up. That's what I'm gonna do. Lori, I love this, and I love the look of it going diagonal. That makes me super happy. See, how sad is that? That's all it took to make me super happy. Stick a couple of flowers on a diagonal and she's good to go. Okay, throwing these on the floor. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. I don't ever, right now, I wake up in the morning. You're a tipper too. <laughs> I'm a tipper too. Say that 10 times fast, that. Yes, you're all trying to say that right now. I'm a tipper too. I'm a tipper too. Okay, so we're going to come in here. It's so funny. There's some things I can't tip. I'm like, oh gosh, like nope. And then there's other things. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm tipping that bad boy. Okay, so we've got that. Now, cute, like it on the dot. I know, Sarah, are you proud of me? As I always joke, you know how we talk about like people who can think outside the box? Um, I cannot think outside the box. I am in the box, the lid is locked, and there is someone sitting on top of the box preventing me from ever getting out of it. So sometimes when I do things, I'm like, dang, someone took the lid off for a second, didn't they? Okay, so now I'm coming in, and I know this is a bit odd, but all I'm doing is overlapping my two circles. So nothing crazy going on there, okay? Now this is just gonna come in. I'm gonna see if, I think I'm gonna need, and you'll understand why. I think I'm gonna need one dimensional up in this top corner. Reason being, Dara Barrett's watching, hello Dara Barrett, is I'm gonna want this to kinda of still be popped up off of here. So I'm gonna come in here. Yeah, I'm gonna hook it. Oh, it's hooking guys. We got it. Okay, so now we're gonna come in. Oh, yes! Can I, okay, Austin Powers, can I do that? Yeah, baby. Yes, I'm loving it. Okay, so hang on, I'm just gonna trim this. Can I take a little bit off this? I'm gonna come in, I'll do it on both because then you can kind of see both looks. I'm gonna take like a, not a ton, I'm just going to a four inch. We're going to four, four is good. That's what I kind of did on my sample that I made. It's a totally different card, but well, it's not, it wasn't even one of these. I just used the, um, the layout. Okay, so there is the flirty flamingo. Okay, and you can come in with the flower. You can see it there. Ooh, I gotta decide where to put the flower. I think I want the flower over there because I want it to kind of hide a bit of that. And there is the dapper denim. Now, guys, I think we may have a bit of an issue. I think I'm loving the dapper denim on this. Because can I just tell you why? Don't get mad. The only reason I'm loving the dapper denim is when I put my flirty flamingo on, which I love. It's striking. But look. The flirty flamingo flowers going in right beside it. I feel like it doesn't do much. But if I put in my dapper denim, there we go, kind of lat ish. And I told you so. Of course you did, Franzine. But now, look at when I put the flirty flamingo, I feel like it makes a pop. Please don't get mad at me, Sarah and Sue. Please don't fire me. Denim, too much pink. Okay, so that's what I was feeling too. My gut was going with it right there. It wasn't to start. I was with them absolutely on my flirty flamingo until I stuck my flower in. And then I'm like, oh yeah, we're getting too pink. Okay, so this bad boy, we are simply going to slap a little bit of fast fuse on him and he will stick to whatever the hell's underneath him. Uh, I want, I don't know, how high up ish? There. Ish, we're gonna come, maybe I'll go right there. Now, I just wanna make sure he's lined up with that side. I don't want anything weird going on there. 
Oh, yeah. I knew it. LOL. Yeah. Well, somebody needs to know it for me some days because seriously, it's kind of sad. Oh, yes. I love you guys. You totally just like I'm so happy right now. I was in such a rut. I sat down here last night and I could not come up with a card if my life had depended on it. And you could turn the flower the other way with pink too. Hang on. Peel, peel gently, repeal gently so we don't ruin the card because that often makes a decision. Oh, I like too. Sue, even better, just turning the flower because it gives more, it gives more beef. There. It's snowing there. Can you beam me up, love? I want to be there right now. Okay. So, oh my gosh. Now I feel like I might need, I, don't, I can't put a rhinestone on this because a rhinestone is silver and that ain't going to work. Can we check something? Don't get mad. I, I, don't, I don't know if it's because I don't want to get off right now. I just want to stay on here with you. Is that super dorky? I do have in Sycamuse or Van, it's not snowing in Van. Oh, good Lord. It's not snowing here. We do have some cute dots in Dapper Denim. I only have one left of that one in the Flirty Flamingo. How did I not notice that I needed more of those? Just a second, but I do have one other thing, okay? So hang on to that thought because we don't have enough of these to do diddly squat, but we do have that color. But there is one more color that I have. Okay, so I do have, where are you? Gold. Okay, so now you gotta play a part in this. So we could come in. Now, I feel like I would need Oh, I don't know if they do it. Tell me what you think. It is coming down like crazy. Okay, seriously, just beam me there. Now you're just toying with me. That's mean. I don't know. I don't know if it needs it. I think I just love it and just want it. Gold. Sarah says gold. Okay, so Sarah, what shape? Though I can't do a star because that's just cheesy. Should we put a couple of dots in there? Nothing. But well, here, do you know how you can test? Check this out. You can go like this because... You leave the backing on it and you can kind of place them. <laughs> this is like my sneak peek method and then I just stick them back in the bin if I don't like them. So I can be like, ta-da, ta-da. Oh, yeah, um, I think that you are going to get outvoted on this one, Francine. I think I like it. But I think that this was definitely the way to test it. Gold on pink. I have to do a triangle. Just bear with me. Okay, see? I love that. I think that... Now, can you see that in the camera? I can't see because of where it's right under the stand. So, what do you... Gold on pink. Dapper denim on gold. Okay, we could also do that. Let's just check. We can't... I just got to keep it to a limited amount. Let's throw you on there. Yeah, I could do that too. Okay, I'm going... I'm going gold. I'm going gold. We're going for gold, team. You ready? Sorry. So do you see what I mean about how with these, it is kind of fun because all you do, you're not stuck with them stuck on your card. Mama Grease looks perfect. Okay. Oh, I love you. Hi, Shanda. So you can test them without ever putting them on. Now the fun part is getting them off. Okay. So let's do you. Come here, you. I'm going to surgically place this one. Um, because, well, you can't really get the idea with the whole sheet sitting there. It, it doesn't give you the same effect. And I haven't ruined them by pulling them off the sheets and putting them on my card. Oh, you get over here. She says, hi. I miss her. Okay. We've got one more. One more. That's what my son used to say when he was little. One more. One more, mama. Okay, can, is it my pathetic that I'm just keeping you on here just because I don't want to get off? There. I love you guys. Oh my gosh. Totally love you. I so needed to do that tonight. Now I feel like my rut is broken and I have made a card that I am happy with. Oh my God. Oh, relief. And I love the embossing folder going on the diagonal. Lori, thank you for your contribution on that. Love how this all turned out. Love the sentiment. Need a dozen ladies to make the perfect card. Yeah, you totally do. Seriously, Francine, what's better than one brain? 12 of us, 13 of us. It's good. Okay. Love it. I loved how it turned out. So my dears, like I said, you could go in and instead of even that flower, look what I could have done. I could have popped a balloon right out and you could have put those on your card to make it a little like um, a birthday card. You've also got, I'm just trying to see what other bits we have in here. Got more flowers on there. I don't know. If you're going to get it, I would definitely get the stamp set to go with it too. Um, you can buy it just the kit on its own without the stamp set. 
like check that bad boy out so well, we've got our own little one in there i kind of love ours you guys it's kind of awesome okay so hang on i gotta get into my thing we gotta check we're gonna go look at this one so it is perennial birthday kit okay i won't stick that under the camera because it makes it go all blurry on you until i find it and flipping pages if i were you would make me nauseous there we go okay so the kit let's see what we got it is 35 for the project kit so 35 bucks but that is your case that is 16 cards and that's like the whole little divider and the sticker, all the little bits that come in it. So it is kind of a kick butt set, the ribbon, the twine, you name it. Then the stamp set, now I always get the clear ones. I'm not a woodblock one just cause I'm, I don't like the storage kind of component of them. Um, that was the perennial birthday. So I think that we need to get something for free with it. So let me just double check. So we're gonna do one of two things. So perennial birthday, so now I'm gonna go find that embossing folder because it was gorgeous. Okay, so it's 11.75. 35, I'm doing my math, 29, 35. Okay, perfect. So if you get the perennial birthday project kit with the coordinating stamp set, you following me team? You can have the petal pair textures embossing folders. Why? Because, well now you're gonna wanna put them in on the diagonal. Now the other thing we have to check, we do have to check out of the big catalog because it's not in the little catalog. I wanna check what those enamel shapes are for you. Cause they're also super fun and they're like, they were a perfect little add on. I think we're near the back. Just breathe me for two seconds while I find them. Uh, no, not that far. Now I'm getting carried away. Why can I never find things? You ever notice that when you're by yourself, you flip automatically to the page? When I'm not by myself, I'm like, and I'm trying to do things under pressure, I'm like, oh, don't know where it is. Oh, still don't know where it is. Nope, thought it was in that section. Oh, here they are. I looked over them. Okay, enamel shapes. Oh, there we go. They're $9.25. Okay, so you have a choice. You can either have a package of your enamel shapes for free. That was the $9.25 ones. Or you can get the Petal Pear uh, Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. So that is with your purchase of, what did we say it was? It was this guy. Woohoo! The kit and the coordinating perennial birthday stamp set. Now check out this bad boy. Look at, actually we need to go do a sentiment inside before I get off because I'm stalling. And I don't want to get off. Um, we're going to go do wishing you the best on your special day. We're going to put it inside the card. Um, and so, yeah, but you guys, what else do you have to pay attention to? If you are getting those items and you're getting your freebie from me, what else are you going to earn from Stampin' Up? Uh, yeah, you are. You are getting your free celebration item. Okay, we're going to go in. Ready? Coming in. We're going in hot, girls. And we're going to, don't wreck the card now, Ange. Okay, I'm going to go straight down, straight up. Boop. Poop. Okay, now make the noise because it would have helped, right? And then the last thing, where is there was another? I'm gonna stick a flower. Can we stick a flower just because he's cute? Where are you? Let's do you. I have to use this jumbo block because all my other blocks are put away. Go like that. You coming in? Do 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 do. Ta-da! Ha! Beautiful! Oh my god, I will sleep tonight. Yay! But now I'm going to end up wanting to get up early and come back down and play. Okay, so I love you. Thank you so much for your help tonight. I needed you, and you were all there for me, and I so appreciate it. I know it sounds dorky, but sometimes you just need peeps to help you get through things. And you did. Take care, guys. Have an awesome night. Remember that deal is on till tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. Bye!